Considering everything that you've gone through this year, uh, I feel like the first SMX playoff was a real breakthrough maybe. I don't know how you want to frame it, but it was certainly the step forward, the boost that you need. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of weird. It's like um, when you're not yourself and you don't ride like yourself for so long, and then you finally can like see like the glimpses during the week, you're like, wow, like that's a big difference, you know? So um, it's hard to describe like what the changes to the bike we made the week before the first round did to me but it was like an instant like just boost of like wow I've been missing that since I've been on a Yamaha 250 pretty much you know so uh, it was just a really cool feeling to feel some of those feelings again on the bike and um, like I said just kind of feel like myself and breakthrough um, in a way yes just to have two solid finishes was awesome but um, more just feeling like myself like I can race again yeah. instead of just being out there in the mix kind of just doing fuck all like it was kind of nice to feel like I could like race it was good uh, hindsight is a privilege of course but is it fair to say that maybe it wasn't the best idea you racing those last few outdoors like would you have been better off locking into SMX coming into Charlotte completely fresh yes and no like in a way I think it was good because that's how we learned so much about the bike okay. to go into the first race was by doing those um, so it was tough like outdoors was tough on me but even at times I felt like I could have done well if I just wouldn't have crashed or done whatever. Um, so I, I think it was good. Like the results on paper were just terrible, you know, but um, that doesn't usually tell the whole story. So I think it was a good thing to race them. Um, I just need a gate drops, you know, and now we have two more races here. We have three WSX rounds and then uh, pretty much we go straight into Anaheim one. So I think it's a good thing for me to be racing. Uh, we'll find out, but I think it's good. Yeah, essentially you've had no momentum for however long now. Mm. You almost don't know what it feels like to just go from week to week without fire drills, major yes. disasters, and being uncomfortable. 100%. So if you can keep this moving, mm. who knows what it will do for you come A1. Oh, that's what I'm hoping. Like the last time that I rode the bike during the week without making changes to a bike was on the Honda, like the last two weeks before I, I actually got hurt at Denver. Um, and I started to feel really comfy right around that time. And then my stint with Honda was over, you know, and then we're on to something new. So it's like, it's just been like, bam, 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 over and over again. And then to now be stuck here and like, we rode this week, I didn't do anything to the bike, I just rode. And I was like, it feels good to finally, like I said, just get some momentum, feel like myself. Um, the changes we made to the bike, like I said, are, I haven't felt that since I've been back on the Yamaha. So it's just cool. It's a really, really comforting and like confidence, like building feeling. Uh, Dean just said that being in the LCQ practice session mm. isn't a disadvantage at all and he actually prefers it. Yeah. Do you agree? Because I could see being on an empty track almost um, yeah. hurting you when it comes time to put in a fast lap, but he said it's all positive. Yeah, I actually like it too. I'm kind of with him because you have space. You know, like normally when you're with that other group, it's it's you never really get any space. You're just hoping to kind of follow somebody kind of. So uh, to be able to have space, do your own lap and not really worry about someone just being up your ass the whole time is nice. Um, but it is cool. Like I, I don't actually mind it at all. But okay then, when the first main event started, were you like, ah, I'm not used to having this many bikes on track. I've not been around this. Was that almost a shock to the system? Uh, for the LCQ it was, <laughs> but okay. not for the main. Like the LCQ actually in a way, it was it went terribly, but I made it in and that's all I cared about. I'm like, all right, I'm in the races, who cares? But it actually helped me once the gate dropped for the first main. So I was like, well, I've already raced. I got that like jitter out of the way. Um, so I thought it was an advantage for me in a, in a way. Now that I made it in, it was good. Um, last thing, everything is trending in the right direction. What mm -hmm. is one thing that you still need to work on, one thing with a bike that you'd like to improve, is there not, I don't want to say an issue because that's too negative, but is there one part that really stands out? Uh, Bike-wise, not necessarily. Um, with me, I finally feel like I'm at a point with a bike where I can work on myself now, instead of having to be like, let's try and reinvent the wheel on how this thing works, you know? So um, I, I think more or less just me, you know? Like I can actually do technique stuff. Like this week I worked on a few things with just solely myself and, I haven't got to do that in a long time. So it was just it was just a cool, cool feeling. And a lot of positivity around the camp right now. And it's just, it's so nice to see. I love it. Okay, coming into SMX, uh, I presumed that the LCQs would really be quite simple for you. Uh, no stress. Charlotte was anything but that. So has that kind of changed your outlook on this playoff system? Are you maybe a bit more nervous now coming into this weekend? Uh, yes and no on that question. Um, because I actually just watched the LCQ back yesterday and I came from last to third so it kind of was like okay I actually can pass all these guys and um, you know I was catching them so but yeah it's very stressful it's not a place you want to be obviously I was only five points off of just slipping in so uh, but it is what it is I know that's what you know what I have to do every weekend but it gets a little bit more um, 
stressful with the double points this weekend and then Vegas triple points. Like, I need to be in those races. So, uh, it's tough, but um, yeah, can only do your best, get the starts, and uh, just try and run away in the LCQs. How much of a disadvantage is it being in the LCQ practice session? Because on one hand, you can watch the seeded guys, but then on the other hand, you're just out there kind of riding around by yourself. I like it. Honestly, I like it. We have the whole track to ourselves. There's only 10 of us out there. There might even not be 10. And uh, it's nice because honestly, our, our and then they'll combine our lap times, which is cool. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter at all because our lap times are only for gate pick for LCQ. So it doesn't, you know, at the end of the day, if we do make it in, we're only <laughs> second last gate pick on the outside. So, uh, so the practice is okay. It's fine. Uh, as far as the main events go last week, we're both on the same page that you should be better than that, right? That's yeah. not your peak at all. No, no, no. Last weekend was horrible. Uh... <laughs> Fucking red. I think we'll be able to hear you. You think you can hear me? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, no, last weekend's racing in the motos was, was terrible for me. Um, obviously not good starts, and I, I just didn't feel comfortable. And see, like, these SMX races, it's actually, it's not even part of my contract to do these, but I just wanted to do it. Obviously, there's good money to be made, so my boy can keep eating his tomahawks and, uh, you know, try to keep food on the table. So, do these. Uh, my main focus is the Australia Supercross, uh, the World Supercross. That's what I'm contracted and focused on. Uh, but, yeah, these ones... Uh, you know, it's just to make a bit of extra money and uh, keep racing and yeah, like I, I had some moments last weekend where I almost crashed and then I was just like, ah, I pulled it back. I was like, let's just get to the finish. Like, it's only single points. So I actually had a good week, so I think I'll be better each each race as we go. Uh, it's fair to say that this almost marks the start of your money-making season. Yeah. You can make more money from SMX, Australian Supercross, all of WSX, all of that good stuff yeah. than you have done from January to September. Yeah, you could for sure if you if you, if I pulled the socks up. Not the way I'm riding right now, but if I uh, yeah, if I if I done well and got in that top ten, top nine, there is uh, really good money to be made. And then after that, there's still good money to be made, but it's just not as high. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty cool they do this. I'm not a huge fan of the tracks. Like, it's just, it's hard to race on. It's fun to ride on, but it's hard to race on for me. Always struggled on them. Last year I struggled on them, but yeah, it's all good. I chose to be here and uh, looking forward to this weekend. I've asked you this a million times, but we'll end on this next year. Now, I'm hearing that you're going to do the first four Supercross rounds and then go and do your little wild adventures. Where are we at? Uh, still to be decided, still working on a few things, but definitely my plan is to race the next couple years and then that will be it, but it's going to be on my own terms, my own schedule, do races that I want to do because um, I've spoke to a lot of, you know, ex-pro racers and, uh, you know, just for their advice and whatever, because I know when you finish racing, it's a really hard thing to do to move on to the next chapter. And they always said, like, dude, just keep racing until like until you can because when it's over it's over like it, that chapter is closed so I feel like if I can enjoy it and still make money and do races that I want to do and not race at the top level uh, for 17 weekends in a row I just don't really want to do that anymore um, I want to do a fun schedule keep racing and if I'm still making 11 you know that that's cool and then after the next couple years I can figure out my next plan on what I should do after racing are you locked in with your Eve now for next year for whatever Variation. Uh, no, I haven't signed with them yet. No, uh, we're still working on things, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Is this even a thing where you can sign with someone? Like, how does that even work? Because this yeah, isn't a normal. No, so it, it would be a thing where I, honestly, it's a very complex for what I want to do next year. I would have to say like probably four different contracts, maybe five different contracts um, per country. I'm racing it pretty much. <laughs> So I think it'll be fun, travel the world, race different places, go back to Brazil, that's super fun. And uh, just enjoy it, take the family and uh, yeah, it's, it's just gotta enjoy it while you can. First of all, uh, you've just walked the track, you haven't ridden it yet, uh, what do you think? Last year's second playoff was very outdoorsy, does this follow a similar pattern? I don't know, I, I don't think so. Um, again, I, I didn't go to Chicago last year so I wasn't, I, I, I don't 
really know, but it it's definitely feels pretty tight compared to last week. A lot tighter. I think a shorter lap time than last week. Um, and I feel like it's got a supercross triple, a bit of a rhythm section, 353 thing out of a tunnel. Kind of feels like a Daytona slash Atlanta, slightly easier, but still still pretty super crossy, I would think. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, definitely uh, definitely going to be a, a, an interesting one to see how it, it cuts up and plays out, but I think it'll be... Um, I think it'll be super crossy. Do you feel more relaxed then going into today knowing that your super cross setup or something close to that should work yeah, better? Yeah, I, th I, I do. I feel better because I've got another week on it too. And, and you know, racing last week is another track and it was it felt pretty good in the outdoor sections. It felt good in the super cross stuff. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely a bit more confident coming into this weekend. Of course, you can never, you know, be too much. It's always going to be, you know, how it's going to play out but I, I'm, I'm happy with the setup I'm happy with the work we did this week um, looking forward to it of course it's going to be a warm one but again same for everyone so yeah you right I feel like this field's so deep the tracks are so fast and hard to pass on the starts are everything yeah. uh, Hayden struggled with his starts Jordan's been struggling with his starts your first main event start last week wasn't good so what's the deal like do you feel confident that you can get two good starts well I mean I should be able to because some starts I'm like nearly whole shot in and then and then again I think you don't me, have you don't have like a, a mid start you're either really high up there or outside the top yeah there. I about looped out last week halfway down the start straight so it's it's one of those where I yeah just just supercross style setup is a bit more aggressive so just fine tuning it with a bike but I, I feel good I've we done they did a lot of work this week so they had the timing beacons out for all the guys doing starts and they were fine tuning their thing I mean yeah for me it's just I gotta just focus on myself like still lining up next to uh, a PC Cowie or VL or something like that I'm a bit like oh I gotta be perfect um, but I gotta trust that on this bike I've just gotta do what I gotta do and if I do my thing then I'm gonna be at least level or if, if not in front you know if I if I execute it well so just figuring that out but um, I, I, I haven't searched too much this week. It's not like I've gone, oh my days, I need to completely change up my starts. My starts, I feel like are very solid. Just, I feel like I overcooked it last time, just tried too hard in the first moto. But it's a balance you got to, uh, you got to figure out. Is that one of the hardest things about SMX, making the bike set up for the rest of the track work for the start? Like, are those two things counterintuitive? Um, sort of. Uh, kind of, but not too bad like I honestly the gearing isn't really much different from outdoors it's just it's just knowing that after the gate isn't as deep as outdoors so you don't want to pull back like this bike you pull back you start looping out um, whereas outdoors when it was super deep you go you know you, you stretch out whereas uh, for, for this kind of thing it's more super crossy so it's like super tacky after the gate and you've got to stay forward so just I mean it's simple but when you're in it and you're like next to everyone you forget and just go yeah and so just figuring that out but that that's going to come and I'm, I'm pretty confident that yeah I don't have to hole shot but I just want to come around the first turn in the top five each time and I think we'll be we'll be all right